light test on the MT10 on the MT10 on the T7 that's on dip that's on full beam it isn't, as you can see it, it isn't full dark these are probably the best lights I've ever had on a bike sorry about the wind noise but uh, whoops fuck it out where's the dip Sorry mate, dazzled him, couldn't find the dip switch then, I haven't rode in the dark for such a time, that's dip lock, see all the apexes of the corners, you can see I've got a full space motocross helmet on, so there's going to be a lot of wind noise, but these are pretty best lights I've ever had on a motorbike. It isn't dark yet, look, and look at them. That's dip, look. See all the apexes, look. That's full beam. Absolutely fantastic headlights. Sorry about the wind, but uh, I couldn't be bothered to change from a dark visor. I'm gonna get on the dip switch today. So if I go for a bit longer ride, it'll get a bit darker. So tell me what you think in the comments. Like the wind noise will be horrendous. That's a hairpin all the way around, look. That comes back on yourself so you'll know what uh So what I'm seeing and what you're seeing that was good headlights pick all the apexes out to be real easy oh. some cars now in front I've ridden bikes for a lot of years now and these are by far the best lights I've ever ever had. They're quite good on the MT10 but not as good as on this. We'll try them out again in a minute, we'll just go through this village and I'll go up in the sticks, right up in the wilds now in a minute. These will probably stay on this road with a bit of luck. You can see how wide the headlights shine on dip block, right out. Never had a bike that's so wide uh, vision at uh, so close range. Thirty year, thirty mile an hour limit. I'm the clues behind. But uh, these lights are very, very good. We'll go up in the wilds in a minute and we'll uh, show you. It's getting a bit darker, hopefully up here now. Bollocks, he's following me. I was hoping the car wouldn't follow because I don't know if it's police or not. Now to stick to 60 now. 
was over to go over it, uh, mind you I'm running the bike in so There's a bugger in it when you don't know who's behind We're only doing a light test though so I know he's in there using both sides of the road behind anyway with my dip. Leaving going, eh? Where is it? It's only a fucking old car. Trouble is when you don't know who's behind here, so... He's using both sides of the road, look. Look right away across on the other side of the road. Hey! But he hadn't run her in, I'd uh, Well, I could give him a bit of a run now anyway. Oh, I mean, I got too quick. We're supposed to be doing a lighter uh, test. Sorry about the full face helmet. I hope you can hear. The wind is blowing in my face like a hurricane. Oh, he's gone the same way as I was going to go. If I slow down now, I won't dazzle him. Perhaps we'll stop at the top here, have a look at the sunset. You can see there how uh, light it is. Hey, the sheep's scared. See the red sky, hopefully, if it's coming out in the camera. It isn't fully dark yet. Twenty-five past eight. Got to watch out for the horses down here as well. Horses, sheep. Hey, I'm sorry about the uh, wind noise, my fault a bit, people were asking, a few people asked what the lights are like on this, so I thought I'd give you a demo, that's on dip, we're on a single track road up in the mountains, I'll go back on the main road in a minute and you'll see what they're like. I just haven't been riding a bike in the dark for 
quite a few months and it's uh, you can forget out where the dip switch is so I got my thumb on it now so I've got to ride like that because dazzling too many cars as you can see by the footage it's brilliant lights on it that's on dip, that's on full Lovely red sky tonight As you know yourself if you've ridden the motorbikes in the dark The lights aren't very good if I do so get up up on the ditch then I could have passed him if you've ridden many bikes in the dark people know the lights aren't usually very good on them but uh, well happy with these Ten done 250 miles, just come up then. These are the best lights I've ever had on a motorbike. I'm not just saying that, that is the truth. I don't get paid to put bullshit on YouTube. That a lot of people do. These lights are a lot better on this bike than the MT-10, that's for sure. Nice corner there for you. See all the apexes and the lines to take. Again, apologise for the wind again, it's just open face helmet. Got my motocross helmet on. And it feels like...